Welcome back to EA Sports. I'm James Sabalski. It is round one of the Stanley Cup playoffs. Game one on tap tonight. Centers glide into position for the opening draw. James, and I'm not even sure how he got there. He knows how to create space for himself even when it feels like it's limited. He finds the room to dangle his way to the net. New York's probably confused a lot of fans just sitting down right now as they look at the score and go, what, there's a goal already? I mean, some of the fans aren't even getting to their seats yet, James. I mean, there's a goal in this game, and that's how you silence the crowd. That's how you create your own energy. It's being ready to play right from puck drop. Send a message to your opponent early in the game, and that early delivery of a bone-crushing hit, that does just that. And he slides it quickly to Tara Heinen. The Hurricanes are across the line and into the offensive end. Nelson's gaining momentum. Here's the pass. Great defensive hits up play to pick it off. Make a change. Carolina's on the attack. Deflected away. Defensive use of the stick there. Look at this. They've got some bodies here on the attack. Here's a short pass to Paul Mary. And he takes the feed. And too much traffic in front blocks that one. Moves the puck. Oh, I thought he was going to be beaten, and he somehow got a piece of that. And he coughs it up with the pass. Handles that one. And the goalie covers up for the whistle. Two centers tie up. New York's moving it along the wing. Loves the puck into the corner of the offensive zone. And he takes the pass. New York's got possession at center. Puck moved over to Holmstrom. And now Goldie away with it. The Hurricanes are doing a great job of anticipating the play, and that's why the puck is on their stick. They're intercepting pucks all game long. They've got to make good on them. They've got to transfer it head north and start cashing in. Lots of time left in this period. The Islanders have taken a 1-0 lead. New York's got it in the offensive zone. Quick pass to Fuller. Too much congestion blocks the shot. Martinix taking it from his own end. Play whistle dead as the puck goes into the bench, and I think that woke up a few players. Take control of the puck. Dumps it in. Carolina's got the puck along the wall. Pollock's pass was so difficult, James. I mean, he stumbles and he's out of balance, and he's still able to corral the puck and get it off with precision to the shooter. That leads to a great scoring chance. And he stopped that one. And look at this. All sorts of pressure here building. Nearing the midway mark of the period. New York's ahead, 1-0. McLean's won the faceoff here in the offensive zone. He was totally locked in on that play. Drives to the sweet spot. Oh, what a save. Uh, that doesn't spin the mental in your favor. I don't know what will, James. That's a last-ditch effort to make a play. What a beautiful save. In front of the net, the goaltender covers up for a whistle on the play. The Islanders have had way more chances offensively, and as a result, they're leading in this one. Carolina 
Bears won the draw inside the offensive zone. Now let's see what they can do with it. Claps it with the glove. This is an impressive save right here, James. I mean, there's a ton of net front presence, and so a lot of traffic that he has to battle through to find the puck, and he does, and he makes a nice save. Puck possession, so critical. Another face-off coming up here. Dives down low to block it. Too much traffic in the lane. And there's the save. There's the whistle as the puck is frozen up. The Hurricanes take possession off the faceoff. Let's the wrister go. Oh, oh, they keep it up. What a blocker stop by Soroki. Carolina's won the draw. Now let's see what they can do with it. Good heads up defensive play as he extends the stick. Moves it quickly over to Natchez. And that goes off the face of the goaltender. Dobson's got the puck in his own zone. New York's gained possession along the boards. Handles the pass. Working the puck deep inside their own end. Ahead of steam now towards the front. Quick feed to Shea. Inside his own end moves the puck. Now into the offensive zone from the right side. Slides the puck across to Romanov. And he uses his trapper to snare that one in his chest. Still a lot of time left in the period as we approach the midway mark. We got a 1-0 game to this point. Carolina's got it and they're on the attack. And a poke check knocks the puck away. Oh, Uh, they always say to be great, you have to get uncomfortable. As we look at this last save, this looks uncomfortable. Stretching your body, finding a way to make yourself as big as possible to get to the save. That's what he did, and that's why the save was made. Carolina's had the scoring opportunities, but they still find themselves behind in the first. Textbook from check by Svechnikov. The Hurricanes will play it from the defensive zone. And he takes the feed. Moves it to Ajo. Reaches out and uses the stick. Puck scooped up by Ajo. Here's a shot. Oh, solid save by Sorokin. Scores! And the scratching and climb has paid off as we are back to even. Well, we're back to evens, James. I really like their game. Uh, I mean, when you're pushing and you're trying to find a way to get ahead and on top, you have to trust the process. That's exactly what they've done, and they've been rewarded for it. He's known for his incredible deception and his elusiveness with the puck, isn't he, James? That incredible vision that can find one of his teammates at will. It is so difficult to defend because he's simply unpredictable. And off the draw, they win the faceoff. Great use of the twin as he puts that one away. Slides the puck ahead into the neutral zone. Here's a shot. And he catches that one with the glove. Official signals for the players to get into position, and we're about ready to drop the puck. New York's won the draw. Here's a short pass to Ajo. What a stop by Kachetkov! That's a fantastic save by the goaltender, but his team has to do a better job of protecting the middle of the ice. Those high danger scoring chances eventually go in. into the attacking zone for the right. Huge steal in his own end. Gets the puck in deep. New York's got a hold of it against the wall. Ajo's moving the puck through his own zone. Puts it in deep. Gets the puck over to Stahl. Fires it! And that goes off the player. Sent into the offensive zone. Slick feed. Carolina's got it in their own zone. Off to left wing and into center. 
directs it on over to Faust. Quick pass to Pesci. Nosen's hauled down. Penalty on the way. Here's the whistle. Let's get the official decision. And calls for nab for tripping. moments away. It's our first opportunity to look at the power play unit here. Well, they've earned their first power play of the game. A tone setter right here and an opportunity to look at the coverage on the setup. Keeps the hold of the puck. Levels him with the hit. New York's across the blue line. He grabs the puck here at the point. And that one just misses. And we play on. A smart heads up play to put that one away. And they continue to fight for that puck along the wall. Trying to come up with a huge defensive play to get this puck out of his own end. trending to happen, James. They've been working on the puck with the since an upward trajectory as this game's progressed and they find the back of the net. He's going to get an apple for his efforts here, James, and it's about the stick position, where that puck in relation to where the opponent's stick is. I mean, he is driving, he's putting on a clinic in puck protection and slides it over to his teammate for the goal. The Islanders have gone up by one here in the opening frame. How does this now change the complexion of this one? Well, I think it's really important because they got momentum right now. More jump to their step, and now they'll want to try and stay aggressive and increase that lead, take the momentum, and use it to their advantage. Nosa quickly over to Nosen. The power play looking anything but as they give up a shorthanded goal with both teams back now at even strength. The expectation when you're on a power play is to score a goal, not give up one, James. This is a tough one to take for this group. There's the whistle as the puck goes up and over the glass. Carolina's got a lot of time to get back into this one. Lots of scoring chances, but they're still down. And off the faceoff, they take possession. Moves it to the middle! Great opportunity there. Past the midway mark of the frame. The Islanders are hanging on to this one goal lead. They'd love to add another. New York's going to start with the puck in their own end. Pulak's lugging the puck. Quick feed to Pasho. And he takes the dish. Man, he was right on that puck. He knew exactly where it was. It was tight to the crease. He got out and challenged right away to make the save. And now he moves it to Lee. Broken up at center. Devastating collision into the boards. New York's got the puck in the defensive end. And here's the pass all alone. Can't get that one to go. Well, that's extremely frustrating when you do the work to get in on a breakaway. Oh, well, there's going to be a call on that one, James. There's the whistle. Let's see what the referee saw. Well, everyone has a job and a role to do, and guess what? It's about PK execution right now. They have the one goal lead. Now they're protecting it. They'll go back to work on their special teams. On a one goal deficit on the power play now, you have to take advantage. You have to find a way to get the coverage moving and find good scoring opportunities. The Islanders gain the zone. And he slides it quickly to Jarvis. And they send it right back to him. Moves it to Plenty. Centering pass. This is it up again here. Moves it again. And he elects not to shoot and will hang on to the puck. Carolina's got the puck against the boards. And now that's picked up by the defense. Picked up along the boards by Engvall. Loose puck, and they're off to the races. Carolina's got the puck. Slides it up front. Look at that hit. Maybe try to wear down the opponents here. Offside the call, we'll get a reset. Horvath's ready for the draw as 
they continue to be shorthanded here. And they've got the puck after that neutral zone faceoff. Jostling for the puck, but still moves away. Carolina's got a hold of it along the wall. Nelson's penalty is almost expired. New York's penalty killers deliver a huge effort to keep that one goal lead intact. Well, they're going to continue to trail here because they weren't able to get the equalizer on the power play. A missed opportunity, and really, timing is everything. So they'll have to figure out a way to dictate pace and get back on the board. Here's a short pass to Drury. And that's intercepted by Lee. Receives the pass. Quick pass to Lee. Carolina's got the puck in their own end. Along the side, here they come through the neutral zone. Sends the feet in front. And he ups to back here to the play. Back to the blue line. Here's a shot. And there's the save. Period number one in the books. First intermission entertainment is on deck here. You can also have time. Go grab a drink, grab a hot dog, and we'll be back with period number two in moments. Willemans Recycling is a proud sponsor of tonight's game. Willemans Recycling And we're about set to drop the puck here on period number two. The second stanza is underway as the puck is dropped. Let's go. Well, we've seen a pretty good sample size already played thus far. Cheryl, your assessment. Carolina's trailing in this game because of their turnovers, James. Just way too many of them, and it's really given momentum to their opponent. They're going to have to shore that up if they want to get back in this game and find a way onto the board. Dumps the puck in. Dobson's got it in the defensive end. Nelson swooping in on the attack. Broken up with the stick in the defensive end. Takes that pass back at the point. Moves it quickly over to Dobson. Takes a shot. Puck picked up by Svechnikov. Here we go, on man rush. That's blocked. And that's knocked away. Right up the gut into the attacking zone. Here's a shot. And it's stopped by the club. Nice play there. Still plenty of time left in this frame. New York's got a slim lead. They lead it 2-1. And they win the draw on their own end. The Hurricanes move it in. Makes his presence known on the ice. That opportunity is rejected. New York's in transition. They've got numbers here. To his teammate! are lined up and we are ready to resume the Islanders win the draw and they go on the attack here in the offensive zone and takes that one right in the chest and gobbles it up New York's going to start with the puck inside the offensive zone we got a whistle, penalty coming up. Tough spot to be in, you need momentum and you give it back by going on the PK when you're trailing by one. Our first look tonight at their power play unit. First power play opportunity for this team. It's going to start in the face-off circle, getting possession with the win, and then looking to set up. Can't get it to go. Jarvis has it in the defensive end. And they get the puck out of the defensive end. Slides it quickly to Horvath. Oh, and he can't bury that one. Uh, you don't get many opportunities like this in a game, James. You have to execute. He completely misses the net. Denies him on the slapper. And the puck stopper hangs on to get a breather here for the team. Ajo's ready for the draws. They will continue to try to kill off this penalty. Offense is on face off, and he wins the draw. And he denied that opportunity. I love the way that he battles and competes for this puck, James. I mean, he loses it for a second, then he finds it, and he makes the save. Pokes it away to stay on the attack. 
Takes it across the blue line. Dumps it in. Oh, they telegraphed the pass, and he picks it off. Back to the point it goes. Denies him on the one-timer. Oh, what reaction. Trying to get the puck out of his own end. And he gets the job done. Big thumbs up clearing that one. The Islanders get nothing here on this power play. We're back to even strength. Well, this power play unit will not be happy. Not only didn't they execute, but they had a difficult time making even crisp passes and attacking seams. They got to be better. We haven't even hit the midway mark of the period. The Islanders are clinging to a 2-1 lead. New York's got the puck after winning the defensive zone faceoff. Through the open ice, they're picking up steam. Here's a shot! They score! And that's back-to-back -back goals! Well, nothing like switching momentum and putting your opponent on their heels than getting two in a row back-to-back. -back. Here they come. New York's been rolling along all night, and they've now extended the lead to two. Well, it's one thing to be aggressive to get the puck, but when you have it, you also want to be aggressive when you attack the net. That's what they've been doing, and then they've been rewarded with two goals, but the majority of the shots that they've been getting have been coming off of that aggressive nature. Quick feed down low. Solid check to slow him down. And it's a quick pass to Dobson. Driving right to the front. Goaltender covers it up, and we'll get a reset here. The Islanders have been the better team, leading in the shot department, and they lead it on the scoreboard. And with the centers tied up, he swoops in to take possession. Tries to feed it over to Martinick. Forces the turnover in the neutral zone. Sends a pass in front. Great defensive play to pick off the pass. A little crash and a banging forces the turnover. Now a quick pass to Horvath. He carries the puck up along the wing. Shot makes the stop with the blocker. Coltender spent so much time doing tracking exercises, and it's utilized right here as he knows where this puck is coming from, and he makes the save. The Islanders gain control of the puck against the wall. Great reach with the poke check. Handles it along the blue line. Oh, we got a piece of it to keep it out. As a defender, you love when your goaltender has this kind of rebound control. Makes your life so much easier. Takes the feed. Angles it over to Kotkaniemi. The Hurricanes move the puck in the defensive zone. McLean's moving it ahead. From the left side, takes it at center. Carolina's got control of it now from their own end. Moves the puck along the half wall. Quick pass across to Chatfield. And that's off target as it hits a body. Takes the feed at center and moves up ahead. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Sends a pass over. Here's a shot. And he comes up with the glove save. Slavin's known for making smart defensive plays when he's in those one-on-one -on -one battles, guys. He keeps composed, reads the play, and then breaks up the attack. That's his shutdown zone ability, and it's what makes him such an asset to the squad. Gains the zone from the right side. Sits in front, and he shuts down a great scoring chance there. And we get a whistle as the goaltender decides to hang on to this one. The Islanders have been impressive to watch tonight. They've had a lot of shots on net, and they lead it here in the second. Puck is dropped, and we are back underway. Dishes it to Lee. Across the line. The Hurricanes take possession in the defensive end. Play blown dead. Let's get the call. Paul Mary's called for tripping. He's off to the box. Puts their hard hats on as they go back to work. What an opportunity here to right the wrong on that demoralizing shorty earlier. They're on the power play. The coach is telling them, listen, you've got to stick to this 
system, you have the man advantage. And a successful clearing attempt. Intercepted at center by a Oh, he made the save! How did he stop it? I have no idea, James. I mean, he was down and out, but profound athleticism and desperation got him back in to make it. As you look at that last save again, James, it is absolutely incredible and so impressive to see a goaltender just out-battle and out-will his opponent to find the puck. Drury's ready for the draw as we get set to resume this power play. The Hurricanes start with the puck in their own end. Nosen's into the offensive zone now on the attack. And now he moves it quickly to Natchez. On the attack along the boards. Hard hit, frees up the puck. And they get some breathing room as the puck leaves the defensive end. That's a good footwork to kick it away. And they'll go on the attack. Great pressure by Holmstrom. Made the stop on the play. It's amazing to me how he always looks like he's in the right position because he tracks and reads the play so well. And this time he gets in front of the puck that's right in the middle of the ice as the shooter's got a dangerous opportunity. Horvat side still shorthanded here as they slide in for the faceoff. The Islanders win it in the defensive zone. Clearing attempt. And the puck is cleared. Well, you can see the entire PK unit. Their heads are on the swivel, straight line skating, and they're able to get that puck. And because they're looking and aware, they're able to find the white ice and get it 200 feet down. Puck grabbed by Horvat from the top of the offensive zone here. Nietzsche takes a slash penalty on the play. Time for the officials to hand out the judgment. The Islanders are getting penalized for slashing. to drop we've got some four on four coming up four on four can be pretty confusing when it comes to coverage you know that your defense have the forwards but the forwards have to be able to contain the d as well so it's complete defense out there here's a shot and that one's turned aside well this save was way more difficult than it looked james i mean there's so much traffic in front that he's fighting through to see and he finds the puck to make the save the islanders scoop it up along the boards quick feed to romano Oh, what a save in front! Slides the puck over to Kotkaniemi. Gaining momentum in the offensive end. Quick shot! How did he stop that in? Well, that shot came quick and it was right out front. He had to be sharp. He'd be right on it and show his brilliant reflexes. New York's done a nice job of generating pucks on net, and as a result, they lead here in the second. They win the faceoff here in the road end to take possession. Penalty expires and the PP unit gets set to go to work. Moves it to cut Kaniemi. A chance on the rush here. Oh, what a start! Oh, what is that for killing a penalty? That's turning a PK into a power kill, James. Not just shooting it down the ice. You have time and space. Take advantage of the short end. get the break they need here late in the second. Sometimes when it gets late in a period, you have more urgency in your step, and they were certainly more aggressive in that last shift, and it showed and they attacked the net. Taken by Pullock. And that's broken up with a stick in front. 
The Islanders certainly didn't get the result they wanted on that power play, giving up a shorthanded marker. The big question here, James, is what are you going to do next? You gave up a shorty, you got to find a way to get back in the game. What I mean by that is you have to reset, not just physically, but emotionally and mentally, and get back on track. Puck is dropped, and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. The Islanders have it from their own end. Here's a short pass to Palmieri. Carolina's got possession of the puck. Here they come, down the left side on the attack. Slides it diagonally to Pasho. Drives it to the crease. Just gets a piece of it to keep it out, wow. As a goaltender, you have to be able to read and anticipate the play. He does it perfectly and is able to negate the shot. Tries to feed it over to Pasho. Attack down the right side. And a nice takeaway in the defensive end by Terabyte. The Hurricane oh, stay on the attack. And he slides it quickly to Plenty. Great pass off the boards. Puck dumped in. Carolina's got a hold of the puck now. Through the neutral zone, moving the puck along the side. Here's the pass. Denied by the goaltender. Takes the feed. Here in the late going of the frame, 3-2 is where we sit in what has been a tightly contested affair. Can't maintain possession after that hit. Up along the wing. From the point, they take control of it. Slides it over with pace to Pellet. Takes the pass. Oh, excellent use of the stick as he knocks that one away. Puck is frozen and will get a face off. Play ready to resume as everybody lines in for the face-off. Carolina's got the win off that draw. Slavin's got it along the boards. Here's a chance in front! Great defensive heads-up play to pick it off. Pellick's moving the puck through his own zone. Approaching the final 60 seconds here in the second. Scores! And that's his first career playoff goal, and he'll take it. Uh, he will, James, because the playoffs is just a different beast. It's not regular season anymore. You want to be an impact player. You want to make a difference, and he does tonight. Oh, I love this play, James. This is compete. This is Will as he lowers the boom and he finds a way to get in. But he doesn't shoot the puck. He recognizes there's an open player and he gets an apple as they execute for a goal. Stalls won the draw center. Moves around along the half wall. in the top of the net. Carolina's got one back. Now can they build on this from here? They need to build on it. This is an emotional goal as the second period is coming to an end and they have to find a way to continue this momentum and build on top of it as they hit the third. There's the whistle. We'll get a face-off after the goalie covers up. The two setters tie up. Nice stick work to knock the puck loose. Shot! Answers it with an even better save! Teams are lined up and we are ready to take this draw. We played 40 minutes. Final chance for the coaches to push their messages home. And we'll see the third period coming up in just a matter of moments. Hey, kids, don't forget if you're a member of our rookie team, you'll have the opportunity to have a couple of our players sign autographs after the game.
And they are ready to drop the puck on period number three. Here we go, we're underway in the third. Everybody having fun getting in on the offensive action. We gotta put a pin in the penalty balloon here, James. Them frustrating calls, no question about it. But they gotta figure out a way to control their emotion and get back in this game. Alex knows the great stick checking in his own end, guys. He's got that stick of up zone ability, and that's his puck checking skills that he uses to fend off an attack. Petro's gained possession, and his great work inside the face-off circle pays off again. Here he is. He scores! Off the pipe and pulls to the twine. Well, it's a game of inches, isn't it? And this time, those inches that work in his favor, they go right into the net. What I really love about this power play is it isn't predictable, which means the PK doesn't know where that puck is going. That's how you manipulate it. That's how you open up lanes. And this shot comes from the mid lane or the interior of the ice, and it's buried. Lots of hockey left to be played in this period. It's all tied up. New York's got possession of the puck after that neutral zone faceoff. Great poise here as he gets it back. Makes a great use of the stick right there to poke it away. Burns takes the puck. The Hurricanes take it across the blue line. possession in their own end. Picking up momentum across the zone here on the right side. Here's a chance. Scores! The go-ahead goal puts them in front. Well, now they're in front, James, so they'll have some energy. You know that their first few strides will be more urgent, but they'll have to be accountable on the other side of the puck as well. Well, this is just a perfect screen. The goaltender can't find the puck because the screen is looking back and finding a way to take away his eyes. Does a great job, and the puck goes in. The Hurricanes with a huge goal here in this third period. Now buckle up, and can they hang on? Oh, I think it's more than hanging on, James. They've got to continue to attack, and they've got to manage the puck. I mean, yes, it's the third period. There's a lot of run. They score! today's game and the official ready to drop the puck right here they take possession as he locks him up off the faceoff along the right side into the offensive zone New York's looking to break out of their own end they're looking to make something happen through the neutral zone now and we'll get a reset after the puck goes up and out of play The Islanders win the draw. Tries to get it over to Holmstrom. The Hurricanes gain control of the puck. Carolina's got the puck at the defensive end. Taken along the wall by Shea. Beautiful read in the defensive end by Holmstrom. Inside the defensive zone, moving the puck. Carolina's gained possession along the boards. Moves it quickly over to Plenty. Puts it on there. Here's a shot. And he stakes that one with the gloves. The Islanders win the defensive zone faceoff. Tries to get the puck to Nelson. 
The Islanders take it along the wall. Centering pass in front, and that scores! Well, just what the doctor ordered, and they cut into the lead. Oh, uh, yeah, after that goal, you can sense the momentum shift, James, and it's all about swinging and seeing if they can string a couple of good shifts together and get the equalizer. They've narrowed it within one. New York's got to be feeling good about themselves now, making this a one-goal game. Bench is up and stick taps all the way around, getting within one goal in the third period. You know how important this face-off is to get possession and start attacking in the ozone. Carolina's going to play the puck from behind the cage. Quick feed to Jarvis. Takes the feed at center from the right wing. Gets the full use of his stick on the poke check. The Islanders will play it in their own end. New York's trying to make something happen in the offensive zone. Oh, and he steps in and scores! And we are back to even! Yeah, tie game now, James. I really like the energy that they've showed throughout the game, but now it's about channeling the energy they just created and doing something with it. We see players work on this all the time in practice, James. It's about getting position net front, and then once that puck is coming towards you, you got to get your hands away from the body with great hand-eye coordination. Just get your stick on it. You're not sure where it's going all the time, but this time, it winds up in the back of the net. New York's hard work and tenacity has paid off with the equalizer. Yeah, James, they pawed their way back into this one, and it's been a result of hard work, good positioning, and the ability to counterattack, and that's a, quite a punch to get them back at even. The remainder of this period, though, both teams going toe-to-toe. -to -toe. This is going to be a great one. Carolina's got the puck. Rips it. Stones him in front. What a fantastic save from a high-danger scoring area, James. And, I mean, he's bailing his team out. They have to do a better job of protecting the middle of the ice. Svechnikov's known for trying lacrosse-style moves, guys. He'll either scoop up the puck and put it on net or flip it over to a teammate for a better look. If you give this guy the time and space to make a play, you'll see it on the highlights later. Grabbed along the board by Johnson. And it's poked away in the neutral zone. Nice heads-up play there. And now it's grabbed by Pichon. Oh, a shot! Moves it to Thompson. Let's it rip! No room for that one to get through. Feeds the puck across to Slavin. Moves it over to Tarabina. I know I stepped on your toes there, James, but had to react to that massive hit. Here's a short pass to Bunty. Looking to make something happen at center. Sends it in on the attack. Quick pass to Lee. Picked up in the open ice. Taken by Orla. Carolina's got the puck along the wall. And loses possession after a solid hit. Gains the zone on the left wing. Shot! And that's blocked from someone in front. Pass to Natchez. Good battle along the boards for the puck. Carolina's got a hold of it against the wall. Chatfield's Watch lugging the puck. Curry. There's the whistle as the puck stopper elects to hang on. Officials are set. Players seem ready. We're ready to get this thing back underway. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Here's a chance to the middle. And he shuts down a great scoring chance there. Slops off from the point. And the lane's clogged up blocking that. Moves it quickly over to Stahl. Jarvis gains the line and into the offensive zone. Takes the feed. Looks like we got a delayed tripping penalty coming up here. Let's see what the official says here. Martinick's getting two for tripping. Excited to see this head-to-head -head matchup tonight. Do we have a winner? Carlin Bates standing by with her answer. Aho's been able to use his zone ability to his advantage and get in on the scoring, guys. I've been impressed by his performance tonight. And he shut the door on that last play. Power play set to roll on as the setters get ready for the faceoff. 
back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. The Hurricanes will kill off a few extra seconds now. Offside the call. We'll get a face-off coming up. Ajo's gliding in for the face-off as this penalty kill will continue. And they take possession. Nice job tangling him up on the draw. Knocks the puck down with a stick. Hangs on to the puck after taking a hit. Here inside the defensive zone, they get the puck. The Islanders have swung the momentum in this game. They're all tied up right now, and they'll have to keep their opponent on their heels. Pat saved. You've got to be better than that. In front, and a stoppage on the play as the goaltender covers things up. Still some precious time left on this power play as they get set to drop the puck. Carolina's got it in the defensive zone. Bumped off the puck. And that's a solid clearing attempt on the play. Time of the essence here. Yeah, they can't skate it. They got to move it to be able to gain entry quickly. Puts to the point. Stopped by the goaltender. He got a little piece of that one. Solid short-handed performance there as both teams are now back to even strength. I really like what this PK unit has done. And James, in my experience, I know what it's like to be out there in a tie game. You want to execute your role to the best of your ability. You know what it's like to go down by one, and it's really deflating when it happens on a PK. So finding how to do it, getting it done, just did it. New York's got the puck along the boards. And that shot gets caught in traffic. And it's kicked away. Quick feed to Palm New York's got possession here in the offensive zone. And this one has really put the pressure on now. And there's the whistle as the goaltender will give his team a much needed rest. Officials have got both teams ready and it looks like play is set to resume here. The Islanders win it. Puck grab by Pula. And we take a drive to Clutch City as they take the lead. Well, the lead is in their hands, and now it's about building off of that. Good shift management, dictating pace, controlling the offensive zone. Everything now, it's on the line. Well, this is an unlucky bounce, James. I mean, when you're a goaltender, you play your angles, you know your set positions, but you can't get set in a scramble like this, and it winds up in the back of the net. New York's taking a one-goal lead here in period number three. Well, yeah, and it's a critical time here, James. They've got the go-ahead goal now. And some of the teams will say, play safe. Not me. I'm about having the puck. Stay aggressive. Stay on your toes. Make them play on their heels. Picked up along the wall by Slavin. Nietzsche plays it now. Takes the feed in the middle of the ice. Oh, love the defensive stick work there to poke that one away. Great save by Sorokin. We'll get a face-off after the puck stays covered up. A critical draw here. Nice job tying up his opponent. Oh, a clutch save! Fouling for it along the boards. The Islanders gain possession. New York's got a hold of the puck. And now they look to make something happen from the neutral zone. Angles it over to Ajo. Svechnikov's able to corral that pass. He's got the puck on his stick. You know he's dangerous. He's got two in the game, and he's looking for another. A lot on the line here in this offensive zone faceoff. That's a smart read with the two centermen tied up. Can't keep a hold of the puck after that play. Show's been slashed, penalty coming up. And there's the whistle stopping the play. Well, when you're looking for a goal, being shorthanded is not ideal. You're also killing valuable time where you can be pressing when you're PK. Another man advantage opportunity looms. Can they take advantage? Well, James, the power play has been brutal tonight, but you have to find a way to get your personnel activated. And a lot goes back to the bench here that coach has to settle them down and work on that confidence. Barzell's 
ready for the draw on this man advantage. And off the draw, they win possession. They get it out of the defensive end. Slides the puck over. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Orlov's got it across the line. Quick shot! Blocker save! And he's showing up big time tonight! You know the ball is dialed in when you need to watch the puck to the corner. And a strong effort on that play. Moves it to Barcel. And the goaltender comes up with a piece of it to keep it out of the net. Loses possession after he takes a little hit. Grabs the puck and moves on out here with this man advantage. Sends the pass over. Takes it and looks ahead. He got all that hit. Trying to get it out. And they get the puck out. That's exactly what they needed. Yeah, late in the game, you want to find a way to just get the puck out. You want to make sure you protect the middle of the ice. And listen, if your opponent doesn't have the puck in their offensive zone, guess what? You're in a good position. New York's got the puck inside the defensive zone. Here's a short pass to Paul Mary. Sends the feet in front. Off a stick, and they can't complete the play. Moves the puck along the half wall. Broken up with the stick in the defensive zone. Handles the puck. The Hurricanes pick up steam and are on the attack. Puck scooped up by Natchez. The lane was plugged up and that shot's blocked. And he slides it quickly to Slavin. And he gets in front of that. Situation critical as we approach the final minute of the third. And look at this. They turn this offensive end into a pressure cooker. And they skate it out of the danger zone. Here's a center pass. And he denies that great opportunity there. A big face off here inside the offensive end. The Islanders take possession off the face off. Dismiss that chance. Well, this is a really great save, James. I mean, you can see that he's battling for position. You can see him moving up and down as his eyes are trying to track and find the puck. That's outworking your opponent and finding a way to make the save. New York's looking to close things out here. They've been the dominant team all night. Hard to see them taking their foot off the gas now. Off the draw, they take possession. Rocked him in the open ice. Into the attacking end. Good pass to Natchez. And he makes the save. Net is empty. The extra attacker is now out on the ice. Fires into the empty net. And this one is all over as the final horn sounds. Well, that's how you want to kick off a playoff series, by taking that opening win and get that momentum on your side. Well, you know, heading into the series, this is the exact game that they've been talking about that they wanted to come out on top on. It's really important to dictate play right from the onset of a series. You really want to send the message that you're here, you're here to play, and you're here to stay. For Cheryl Pounder, I'm James Sabalski. The playoff action continues here next time, here on EA Sports.